Yes, we are hard pressed in every side, but we're not crushed. Perplex, but we're not in despair. Persecuted, but we are not abandoned. Cast down, but we are not destroyed. The good news is that uh, though we die in God and the Lord Jesus Christ is in our body, the good thing is that it will be revealed into the life of Jesus Christ. So we will be pulled up and raised from those states, brought into glory with the Lord Jesus Christ. We hear all these super spiritual things and we read it. Sometimes we believe it. But we have yet to experience it. Here to tell you that you're not alone. That yeah, life can be so catastrophic. And words cannot describe what you have probably been going through. It cannot sum it up in words. You have to experience that which you go through. Trying to find that peace in the midst of the storm is not easy. You've been trying over and over to speak peace, to be positive, to uplift yourself, to find the good in every bad situation. I guess it's still been rough because you've been experiencing the tensions and you probably have been experiencing some migraines of some sort and some suicidal thoughts of some sort that you yourself cannot share with other people because people you cannot trust. They have hurt you before. And they have missed what you have been trying to convey. And they have misunderstood who you truly are. That you are truly trying. And they've only just been judging you based on your actions. And yeah, 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 you know that your actions speak loudly. But I'm here to tell you that there's some good news in the fact that you have an intention to seek God. You don't hear this quite often, but your intentions are honored by God. Uh, the fact that you have been trying in God, that you've been crying out to God. I'm here to tell you, though you may not see the deliverance and you have not received the victory, I'm here to tell you, not that it's nigh unto you or that it's going to manifest, but in those places of feeling confined and those places of feeling that you have been weighed down by the burden so much responsibilities you getting sick of tired sick and tired of just being sick and tired I I know I am human too and though I'm human I still can understand your tailor-made phenomena I cannot walk a mile in your shoes, but uh, there is some God that we have been hearing about, you and I, because we're here, that's all-powerful, all-loving, all-gracious, all-merciful, omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent, all these great high theological descriptions and words and metaphors but when will my help come well I'm here to pray with you in agreement that your help will come and that your help is nigh because the kingdom of God is of peace and is of joy so when will your kingdom come? Is a question you've probably been asking. Because it seems like everyone around you have been blessed and been helped. And you've been seeing the faith of those around you. And it intrigues you because you've been trying. But all you've been able to do is put on a mask of a dim smirk. A mask that I've just been covering up 
the tears that you've been crying, innumerable tears and countless nights. But there's still that good news that will be revealed one day in our life that we'll be raised with Jesus Christ. When is the question. Thanks be to God that there's a how. How we could wait. I know you're sick of hearing the wait, but how? Uh, by touching and agreeing with those that are able to keep you up when you're feeling a little weak, or maybe those who are experiencing what you're experiencing, but seems to have an extra boost. And maybe we could touch and agree with it because I am that person to wait you. And I am smiling because. I'm hoping that my heart can smile too with my face and that my soul can be satisfied too. Let us pray. Almighty God, merciful God, words do not suffice to the pain that we've been experiencing. But we know that words were given for a reason. And we know that the situations have been trying to silence us, but we know that our voice has been given so that we can speak and act and speak and transact and speak and receive. So God, right now we're speaking, calling on you. We're asking, we're seeking, and we're knocking. Because you are God of our lives. And if you are God over our lives, you are able to organize and orchestrate the melodies that have become so dim. You are able to hear us and to pull us into a place that larger than where we've been, a place that's higher than where we've been, a place that we don't have to be ashamed of what we have fallen victim to, but a place that we can become victors even now. We're reaching towards our future, but we're hoping that it is now. That you are able to come to our rescue now. We have heard the psalmist cry out, and say that you hear us speedily and that you have come to aid of those whose spirit is poor and our spirits are poor. We need the wealth of your word. We need to gorge on something that will keep us beyond a moment's sake. A word that will keep us in eternity that our faith will not fail us but that you God will give us a triumphal procession in you we don't feel worthy of the honor but God if you're able to do it exalt now and be listening air that the weapons that have been framed even by ourselves will now be rendered powerless and that you would empower us and imbue us with something much more than what our minds can imagine, what our hearts can conceive, but that you would bring us into that place of deliverance, that place that we are able to feel with our mouths are seen, that we're able to experience what our ears have been hearing that our lips will joy in you, that our minds will take hold of you, in your name have your way, in your name by your power if you are real, show yourself mighty,
Extend your hands of mercy and rid us, see, even now, from the captive places oh, of that dismal place that we've been laying victims to. We now confess with our mouths and believe in our hearts that we are free and that you are Lord of our lives. The devil is a liar and you've come to arrest those things that have been holding us away from freedom. You've come to serve us. You've come to set the captives free. You've come for us. You've come and we now know that God has come for you.